Today in the boot guy, we're looking at the Golden Fox 12 inch soft toe non lined Wellington. Gold Fox refers to this boot as the 12 inch Wellington Pro. You know what? For as far as Wellington boots go for this area of boots, it's a pretty damn good boot for what it is. The leather reminds me of something that would have been made at the turn of the century, like a leather bag, a leather briefcase, or even old fashioned rodeo gloves, the thick, heavy leather gloves with a little pull on the side. That's kind of what this leather reminds me of. It's thick, it's heavy duty, it's supple, but it's not floppy. It's not falling apart. It's gonna hold some shape. It's a wedge sold Wellington boot. And the wedge sold that they're using is a polyurethane wedge. So that means it's gonna be oil resistant and acid resistant. They claim it's gonna be slip resistant too, but we all know as wedge soles move on and as you get to a certain point of wearing down the ridges and wearing off the pattern, that a pair of wedge soles on wet rocky surfaces is probably not the best thing. The welting process on this boot is a Goodyear welt. It's a plastic Goodyear welt, but something I've noticed about it that kind of blew my mind is I had to look really, really hard for where they connected the welt together from point A to point B. They did such a good job of matching these up and kind of blending them into the sole, I couldn't even find it at first. And for a price point boot, that's a level of quality you never see. That's a textile midsole, so that means you're gonna get a little bit more comfort and a little bit more bounce out of this thing. Plus when you add the welting process of a Goodyear welt and you add a wedge sole, especially a urethane wedge sole, this thing is gonna feel more like a pillow than it is a boot. Now I said the inside is unlined and it is completely unlined until the vamp section where they actually have to use a nice piece of soft cottony material inside the vamp section. Around here at the heel section they add in a little piece of what feels like goat, maybe pig leather, just to give your heel a little bit more protection there and as you're sliding in and out of the boot that you're not wearing this down and destroying the heel cup prematurely. Now on the website they claim they have a dual density insole. Well I had to pull the insole out because they tape it down inside there and it is a dual density insole. It's two different densities of urethane with a softer one is the darker gray and the harder one as the actual footbed. This is probably gonna be the one thing that you're gonna replace in this boot as you wear it for a few months because this boot's gonna last you a while. Mind you that because of the way it's made, because of the materials used, and because of what you'll be buying this boot for, the type of work or just the type of after work environment, you're gonna be replacing this insole because you're gonna be wanting to wear these quite often because the whole boot construction is gonna be really comfortable. Just the insole section is probably something that's not gonna hold up to your everyday wear. And that's not to say it's not a comfortable insole. It's the whole package here is comfortable. It's just this is a little, it's a little flimsy for what we're used to seeing in a good heavy duty industrial type work boot. Now since it's not lined and there's no liner, not waterproof water resistant as all leather is and this boot this type of leather this handle leather is going to take up oils and treatments like you will not believe the color will change once you start to oil this boot up but that color that it's going to change to is going to make this leather look beyond beautiful now about the size and the fit on this boot well this is more of an introduction into the pull-on world. If you've worn pull-on boots before, you know your pull-on boot size, just buy your size, buy your width. You should have no problems. But if you're a lace guy who just wants to put a pair of pull-on boots into the mix, you want to make this your third or fourth pair of boots that you got out there, just something to slide on real quick when you're going to go out for a few hours. Or if you're looking to really start wearing pull-on boots and you're not really sure on how it's going to fit your foot, Golden Fox is a great place to experiment with because of the price point and because of the quality. Because of the quality they put into this inexpensive boot, it's the same type of quality you're going to find in the two and three hundred dollar boots. Maybe not all the same materials, but construction wise and fit wise, it's what you're going to get. So when you go to buy a pair, buy them your size. Whatever you're buying in your lace boots, width and length, 
buy this boot in your size. They might tell you to downsize or upsize or whatnot. Listen, if nobody's there looking at your foot and measuring your foot in a shop and they can pull out 10 boxes of different sizes for you to try on, buy the size that you're comfortable with and you should be happy. So that's the Golden Fox 12 inch Wellington Wedge Pro boot in this beautiful brown oil tan leather. Hey, if you've ever worn a pair of these Golden Fox Industrial Wellington boots before with the wedge sole, please comment below. Let guys know about the size that you took from what size to what size in different boots and how long did the wedge sole last you? Did you wear them for work or did they actually become an after work playtime boot? Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It's really helping out. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My Instagram page has been growing. I try to post to it two or three times a day. Kind of what's ever going on here in the space, whatever boots I'm looking at, whatever I'm creating, Whatever is going on, I'm trying to post it to Instagram. A little bit more of an updated what's going on at thebootguy.com, hey, shoot over to my Instagram page. If you're wondering what's going on inside the head of the boot guy, check out the Twitter feed. Not much is going on there, so but still check it out. And if you should have any questions, you can reach me at one of those spots, or you can always send me a direct email. If you have any questions about work boots, work gear, or anything like that in general, remember, you can always shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.